Hello everybody and welcome to game number four in the OCC. Um, down 100 TV thanks to having all my players killed. So um, I guess I'll get a bribe and farm him every turn because he's got he's got no he's got 12 man orcs. So that seems terrible, doesn't it? Um, Igor, in case my werewolf dies, that seems lame. Um, a merc ghoul. That's probably the best, isn't it? Merc ghoul. There you go. A merc ghoul is is what it is. Because at least now I'm only kind of down 30 TV. I hate I hate getting double Bloodweiser babes. TBH. Turn three concede. No, there's going to be no concessions. Um, of course not. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to see out my league commitments um, as I have done every other every other league I've ever been in. This was the only league that I didn't. Um, oh well, that's cool, isn't it? Wow, that's awesome. Well, in that case, I don't need to say... At least I don't need to say bad luck, bad luck get fucked to him then. What a lovely chap. Do I have... Uh, why is he in the reserve? Oh, I can have the these in the middle. The spine of the team. I could almost leave the ghoul on for my offense, but then I can use him carelessly, can't I, with this? He's only got one block. Um, he's got a bit of a strange team build with three black orcs, one blitzer, and a thrower, so he hasn't... He, he may have watched my videos, but he certainly hasn't taken heed of them. Thank you for the follow, Jane Three. Yes, Carl Ancelotti, like getting three players killed in your first team in your first game is pretty bad. <laughs> TBH. It's pretty bad. It's, I've also lost the first three in a row of the IP bleeding hippie, so it's pretty bad. Like, yeah, you're sure in a way the team isn't so bad, but like, the season's fucked. The season's an absolute dead loss. Um, so, and it, the worst thing is just knowing how long it would take to um, to get promoted. Just make, made me lose all enthusi any enthusiasm that I had for it. Was just gone instantly. To be honest,
Oh. Shit, I didn't get used to unfair. I was too busy charging around on my Tauros. <laughs> um, to see that. It's pretty cool though, charging around on a Tauros. I've got to say. Yeah, exactly, Dynamos. It's horrible, isn't it? It's just fucking horrible. It's horrible how long it takes to get the top seasons. It's like... The top divisions. I just want to. I just want to be in the top division. I don't want to be in not the top division. That's that's the thing for me, for me personally. Like, I don't dick around in any division other than the top one. And uh, maybe I'll I'll quit after the season and rejoin when Chaos Dwarves are in. I don't know. Yeah, he's done the classic, splitting his team. But I mean, I don't really have a fast team to exploit it, do I? So I'm probably just going to get blocks in. Blitz with block. Make two dice blocks. The old... The old classic, the classic play of making two dice blocks. Oh, well, that was pretty good, wasn't it? That's about as lucky as it gets. Maybe I'll keep this team. I mean, I could keep the team and not re-roll. Necro are really, really good. And yeah, the team, the team isn't that bad. It's just down a ghoul at the moment and down star player points. Compared to what it should be. Um, and it is going to take forever to get promoted. But, yeah, I guess I could. I guess I could keep them. I'll go there so it's a GFI from to hit me with his block. That was a pretty successful turn, really, wasn't it? It's got some men's base. Look is changing, yeah. It does look like it, doesn't it? That was a that was a ridiculously bad look for him getting a guy cast straight off the back. But was it a missed next game or a badly hurt? It was a badly hurt. I would have I would have appled it for sure if I was him. If that was a badly hurt. But then I guess it's a league, so maybe he wants to protect his team, which is um, which is fair enough. Necro are, in, are, are, well, yeah, they're a pretty great team. They're, they're probably the, yeah, as I say, I mean, I said before, I think they're maybe the best in Blood Bowl 2 because of the new the new bank rule. They never need, well, they never need, even though I had three players die in one game, they never need to replace players much. They get a lot of value from inducements with the uh, Cheney and Wizard. Because, you know, when you've got two ghouls and two werewolves, you have got some fast players. So as long as they're in the right place protected, you can benefit immensely from Wizards. Um... They've always got the money spare to to buy wizards and stuff. So yeah, I think they're they are, I think they are pretty strong in um in that. It's just that I'm um I just lost a game on purpose. The last game I lost, I could have won. I just chose to lost lose it. That was fucking ridiculous. So that's making me want to reroll. Just the the team does better than this horrible team. Oh, he went for a handoff. He's an absolute madman.
Oh. It's great when you just do random things like I was going to block that guy, but then I chose to block him first. And it works out great. He can base the ball, but obviously it's scary for him. I just would really like to be a cat wouldn't it? No, not a bolt down. No, not a, not a 1 in 81. Oh well. Normal service is resumed. Can I do island scan before, like now? Can I just do it now? Or do I have to go to the second island or something before I can do island scan? Oh, he likes his handoffs, doesn't he? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Pretty crazy. I oh, can't break through. Oh, maybe he can. Shit, that I can't get this girl white freed up unless I do one D for. Right, this is a pal, though, things could happen. Don't know what those things are. You can 2D him. Could go for the 1D surf, couldn't I? Can all style 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. GFI, that'd be pretty epic. I could one dice him, then two dice him, then one, two, three, four, five, five, six in there, then blitz with him. Do this one first. Two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, okay, one dice are here, fuck it. Wasn't that crazy, was it? It was just like doing a dodge. Got a stay to get him in, haven't I? Otherwise it would have been a GFI. Exposes my wolf a bit, but... Put him in his tackles on so he can't assist. Uh, still pretty, pretty shit though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any crazy, any crazy things, any crazy dodges or anything. Coach Gaming. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it's going today. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit down on this team and this league in general, which is not helping me to focus. The big match is tonight. 
at um, 1930 GMT UK BBL, which you know I'm eight and all. I'm, I'm mega hyped for that one. This one, I'm. I just want it to be over as soon as possible. Pretty much. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Did he just make a six plus dodge to get into there? Oh no, he followed up into there. Wow, dirty dingo. Dirty dingo. Can I blitz him to chain my... Oh, he's hitting my fleshy already. Alright, I don't need to chain him. I imagine if he just got the push then. Unbelievable Jeep. I can straight away get him in a thing and push him into the wolf, can't I? Don't even need to work. Armor broken on the fleshy instantly. It's weird how flesh golems always seem to get their armor broken. Nothing you can really do here, is it? To stop getting, getting too deep into frenzied. Do it with the um, loner, I guess. I'm ready to see you. Oh shit, that was a GFI. Which obviously wouldn't have made that had I realised. He could 1D him just to get the wolf relevant. I guess that seems better than not doing that. Well, maybe I should have made my safe move first of this guy going to there. Didn't even matter. Golden well, eleven. That's not bad, is it? I guess he can occupy him. That's all right. Hello, ducky. Dirty dingo. Yeah, yeah. It's a fascist thing, isn't it? Time to hang up your headphones. I have hung up my headphones. I'm hung up my headphones. On. Um. UK BBL tonight without commentary. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess Fash. Fash might be awake. I don't know. Oh god. Yeah, congratulations, Ducky. Um, yeah, I don't know what will happen in the UK BBL. 
Obviously, I really want to win it. Really, really, really want to win the UK BBL now. I just blitz him or block him and then blitz somebody else and then pick up the ball with a wolf, white weird wolf and score. Um, he ain't got block, though, as he has the thing. He could block him, then he could block him, and then could surf him without even needing anything. Right, so I think a block here is maybe the best. can surf him without using the wolf blitz which is nice isn't it um he can tag because he's a worthless loner one two three four five six seven eight and i guess i don't move him until after him one two three four five i guess i could blitz with him no, i want to i want to protect the ball with him don't i so I guess go for the pickup now because it's more important than the surf, really. Realistically. Of course it's a one. Couldn't couldn't be anything else. Could have maybe I should have gone for this. Well the surf would have failed anyway, it would have been double score, wouldn't it? So Oh wow, the Forest Elves are 8-1-0. There's no worldwide blocking crew lost. Worldwide blocking crew lost in the um, in the UK BBL. So um, if I win my week nine match, I will I will be top of the top of the league by myself. Ah yeah, you can't see him. Well, that's okay. Cause that's why he marked instead of the white because he would have one dice powered the white and cast. No, he wouldn't armor eight shit. He wouldn't have had the white. You can be my wingman any time. Fast Binder, ah, oh, thank you very much, Fast Binder. Lovely chap. Dirty Dingo. Were you told 1.30? Oh, sorry. It was it was never 1.30. It was 19.30 um, is my UK BBL. And this one is um, 1300. It was always 1300. 1300, sorry. Yeah. Fashion. Yeah. Yeah, top of the league, yeah, yeah. Yeah, division division is um I am still gonna be top of the division. Because I beat Schaefer and Ducky Ducky lost. Um Oh no, it's p postponed. Alright. Okay, so Han has said just got some business to attend to. Can we postpone Mr. Monday or Tuesday any time after nineteen thirty? So UK BBL is not on today. Um, so there you go. That's a that's a shame, isn't it? Um, I guess it's good for me though, because it means another day that I don't have to play Blood Bowl. Um, I could push him onto there and then chain him in, but then I can't get assists. The one dice him.
I think blitzing this guy seems the most prudent thing to do, doesn't it? On his running scared, yeah he is. Yeah he is. Thank you for the follow and the right. Yeah, I did say that duck ducky, but then the problem was the great the great flaw in my in my plan was that would require playing games of Blood Bowl. And um you know fuck that for a game of soldiers. Got him. He's <laughs> on a gangster or something, yeah. <clears throat> Made two GFIs. And still giving up a hit on the ball. Absolute madman. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack. <laughs> no, Fashbind is the same. I love watching it, and I love talking about it, and I love thinking about it, and I love the models, and I love the artwork, and I love the background. But it's just the actual... Like, having to grind is not something I like. Smeagol. That's what I should get. 20% to find a Smeagol on the southernmost field of grass in a Lola Route 2. That's where I need to go. I need some Smeagols. Because he's good, isn't he? He learns all the moves. Then I can have like a false swiping crazy bastard. He can stand up. He can stand. Look at this, safe moves first. All the pro tips of the world here. I guess this is not a pro tip to make that block. Maybe we should have just done the blitz straight up with a, with a white. Um. Just because it, you know, I guess a push wasn't good. I guess this white's going to have to score then, isn't he? There's no, no two ways about it. He could go one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then that would let the wolf hit. Not really though, would it? He could just blitz him, then the wolf can hit. So he can just fuck off. It is a frenzy trap though, isn't it? So maybe before that, go for this one. Which lets him deal with that. I, mean, I guess I could have just made another 2D, but I think I don't want to, I don't want to risk him doing anything crazy to get the ball, do I? Right, frenzy trap it is, let's go. Guard him. I guess I can go for 1Ds, doesn't really matter, does it? Saves me getting too deep.
Well, it's not set up to be played one game a day now, is it? It's set up to be played as many games as you, literally as many games as you can, because you do get a slight bonus of playing forty-two. So, be, what you've got to do is you have to play at least forty-two, and then stop once your team or or your record is good after that. Um, but yeah, it is it is pretty grindy. The new rankings are pretty grindy because he went with he went with Fashbinders. Do you know what's funny, right? This is this is the champion ladder, right? At the before the start of the first season, I'm like, I wouldn't mind a hard or soft cap of like 30 games. Fash is like, no, 40 games. Um, and then now, finally, after 14 weeks, Dode has settled upon a soft cap of 42 games. So pretty much what Fash said 14 weeks ago, it's slowly gravitated towards. Before day one of Champion Ladder season one, I said, it's grindy as fuck. Dode said, no, it's not grindy as fuck. After, after the um, four weeks, after the eight weeks of season one, lo and behold, Dode's like, oh, actually, actually, do you know what? It was, it, it was too grindy, it was too grindy. It looks like Jimmy was right. It was, it was actually too grindy. Who would have thunk it? And then, so then he makes his new formula for season two. And then, in, in his new formula for season two, I'll, I look at this formula, and I'm like, well, not the formula, the graph, which is all I did from the first graph. And I'm like, do you know what? This is too streaky. And he's like, no, no, it's not too streaky. It's not too streaky at all. Not too streaky at all, actually. I think you'll find it's not too streaky. And then, after six weeks of Champions Ladder Season 2, um, he, he's like, oh, do you know what? Do you know what? It was too streaky. So, after, after it looks like, Chris, looks like Jimmy was right again. So, um... I guess what I'm going to have to do is go with a soft cap of like 42 games, which is basically what Jimmy and Fash recommended in the first place. Funny that, isn't it? Funny that he's done that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Pedro. I'm sorry, Pedro. I must be an F1 engineer. It's funny that, isn't it? Streaky is subjective. Yeah, he's like grindy is subjective. I tell you what, mate, playing 110. Yeah, he's gotten the data as opposed to our wild accusations and ramblings. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, now he's got the data. Like fucking hell. I do think that 42 grams is. It's not. It's just not what I want to do at the moment, Demaster. You know, and I'm feeling. I'm feeling under the weather. And um, and I always said for 40 is what Fash said. For, for, Fash wanted 40 games. Um, and I wanted, I wanted, I would, I wanted thirty, and he wanted forty. But Fash wanted forty when it was an eight-week season. Um, so now it's six-week season. Um, thirty would be better. I think maybe even Fash would um, would be down with a with a forty um, with a thirty game cap. You never know. He's just giving me a surf here, hasn't he? I just literally have to do that. I'd say 30 was better. Definitely, definitely the fact that it's um, it's the limit now, isn't it? That's the thing. It's the it the fact that it's the uh, if I put two in here because obviously this he's gonna assist. Then I go he can do it one two three four. So we can go there and then he can go one two three four five six seven eight. That's the only bad thing, isn't it? He exposes himself or he has to dodge. One two three four five six seven eight. I think I'd rather dodge this so I don't get two dice blitzed. Um, hmm, depends, we'll see. I guess I want to guard against the blitz a little bit, don't I? Yeah, 42 is too much. In six weeks, yeah. Yeah, I thought 30 was better in two months than, than 40. Exactly, in Ari, and it's a joke, isn't it? I, I think it's a joke that the, that they feel the need to reset it. To be honest, I said that from the start. Yeah, they could just have one division, but of course, the reason for not having one division is because Doe doesn't want to have to do too much work admining all the concessions, and for some reason, he thinks it's imperative that concessions are admined rather than just having a point for people to play for. Um, now, do you know what? I should have done the pickup first, shouldn't I? Because now it's um, 
I guess I can tag him so at least I can't get blitz blocked. So actually, I guess this is alright, isn't it? Like, it's not ideal. He's going to have to block him. Get an extra one in, eh? Now then, now then, how's about that then? Oh, you can't say that anymore, can you? <laughs> can't, not allowed to say that anymore. Ah, he can fully surf my wolf now, can't he? He can just one dice him. I'd have to surf his own guy first, though. So, do I need to dodge this one? I don't know, I want to dodge it, though. Yeah, of course. Oh, fuck it, I'll even reroll. Don't even care. Literally don't even care. Now I can try and give him the ball. So he can get more stop there. No, I don't know though. Having having something on the on the wolf would be alright, wouldn't it? And the white even would be alright. Both whites on three, so I guess both whites do want to score at some point. You got banned on GDA for hacking. Holy shit, Getty Spaghetti. Yeah, true, Pedro Jack. But you've got to remember that nobody, only Don Chump and Shawnee went thirty-six and zero. When 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 that was when the when the lead was full, when the league was full of shitters. So um, so you know. I think 30 would be enough to stop people trying to get a 30 and all record. It would be good if you could just keep your teams. It would be good if just everybody was in it and... Alright, didn't lose the ball, that's pretty good. Because seems we've got some guys over here. We'll move over here. Safe moves first. Making Fash proud. I'd rather hit and run with a wolf, wouldn't I? Um, but it's how to do that. So now I guess the wolf is just going to hit in there. I guess it's worth standing him up to get knocked down. He's just a shit a zombie, isn't he? No big whoop. He's still got 11. I still got 11, thanks to my um, thanks to my reserve that I bought. Looking good value, really.
I wouldn't say I gave you a lot of flack for it, Inarian. It's just that I don't like it. Um, the no rerolls. Um, is that I assume that's what you're talking about? Yeah, um, I think it's a bit madness because I think if you weren't such a good player, you could, you know, you would want. Yeah, there's two ways of going though, isn't it? If you think, if you think your opponents are going to be high quality, then I can see the, um, then I can see the argument for you need more power to be able to win, because um, it's just power versus reliability, isn't it? That's the thing. That's the thing. It's like... It takes away Leap from your War Dancer, though, which is really bad. It takes away Leap from your War Dancer, so... Um, yeah, of course, of course. It was... Yeah, that was funny. He got diced to death after he got the two rerolls. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. He did get diced into death with, when he actually got his rerolls. But, um... You know... Like, if you think you're better than your opponents, why not just go for a slightly worse team? with re-rolls, you know? Like, that's what I would That's what I would say. Um, and I would think Inarian would think he was better than most of the players that he was playing against, coaches that he was playing against, I would think. I think he's better than most of the coaches he's playing with. I would have thought, out of those 64 in the World Cup, who is he not better than? Spartaco. And then who is he on a level with? Um, some of the others, like four or five or six, maybe. And then... So I would have thought, go for the. I didn't. I thought it was a bit of a crazy risk when there was so much on the line, more than has ever been on the line or will ever be on the line when it comes to Blood Bowl. I just thought it was a bit crazy. That's all. I didn't, I didn't say it was flat. It's just not what I would have done. Yeah, one reroll. I would. I would. I would go one reroll. I don't think it'd be worth. Um, you know, maybe he's gone with anything more than. Like, you know, drop a reroll to get the tree. But then catches are really good, and you do get two catches, and you get the... the and you get the throw, which gets you um, leader, doesn't it? So it is pretty good, actually, having the um, other one. I could blitz with a... Um, I could block with a carrier. And so for the way I couldn't... Can't surf for the Wii. Can surf for the Wii here. This is a pal. Yeah, it is. Guess I should do safe move. Oh no, I, I don't want to stand him out afterwards. Not a safe move. Do this one first because it's not so bad if it fails. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I should have stood him up then. But I did want to knock him down and then. And then be able to move this guy, didn't I? I wanted to, if I knock, if I pushed him, get and block him again, and then GFI with him to get this 2D and stuff. I Maybe mean, I should have just stood him up. I don't know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah, no, you know, I know you like that stat, but um, I don't know. Yeah, there's no harm in the implode. Exactly, the master. Yeah, that's different. It's a lot different when you're just trying to qualify. Yeah, trying to qualify when you can re-roll. Sure, start with the no re-rolls because you get the most power to start with, and but it's risky. So that's the perfect time when it when you're trying to go when you're trying to like qualify and get a 34, 34 two record or whatever it was. Um, but it was just, that was the thing, just everything was on the line in the World Cup, and I just thought it was, I mean, it was very risky, that's not my opinion, that's just fact, isn't it? It was a very risky start. Um, I don't know, I just thought, it's not It's not what I would have done. I don't, wouldn't say I gave you loads of flack for it. I think that's a bit unfair, but, um, yeah, I don't think it was, certainly not what I would have done if I was Inarian. Maybe what I would have done if I was Lupak. Say, but um, there you go.
brilliant bit of stand firm there, wasn't it? It is good, isn't it, stand firm sometimes? I've got to go for the Wolf Blitz, haven't I, I think? Um, oh shit, that was a dodge! <laughs> that was a 5 plus dodge! 6 plus dodge! <laughs> what a dickhead! Uh, it would have been better if this guy had made that move, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh well, right, never mind. Let's casually um, ignore the fact that I just rolled a 6 plus dodge. <laughs> oh shit. You can just fuck off now, can you? Plenty of time. Fucking six plus dodge instead of just moving the guy. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, it's risky turning zero rerolls on what else. Excuse me while I make this six plus dodge. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't good. I didn't even see that. I didn't even. I didn't. Even, it wasn't a misclick. It was just. It was pure misplay. I didn't even see the guy. It's not as if like I tried to click on this guy and move. I just didn't even see the thrower. It was just absolutely. Um, it was just absolute. Just not seeing. Not seeing the thrower. Was not a misclick. It's just dumb. Dumb. Uh, what's that movie called? Dumb. Idiocracy. It was just pure, pure idiocy. That's what it was. That zombie sure doesn't it deserve the MVP. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible, terrible play. No excuses whatsoever. Swish. That's left a big. There's a big. He's got a gaping hole, hasn't he? You can just start with a casual blitz. Into removal? No. But good enough. Leave him the five plus dodge, you know, I think. Smash him. 
smash this through. Gotta go for the armor eight, haven't you? Nine. Nine was required and nine was rolled. It's funny how that, that's why I hate throwers. They are a they are a weak link, aren't they? It's funny. It's funny how bad an armor eight player is and an armor nine team. Makes you realise the fucking difference, doesn't it? Like runners and troll slayers on doors. Funny old game. Mr. <laughs> Yeah, but I can't make three plus. Getting diced, yeah. No, I don't. I don't like to foul in I mean, well, who could I foul anyway? Really, I guess I could maybe foul him with a no assist. But I'm a nine. I don't like fouling. I'm a nine. Yeah, it's a strange. Well, he had three, but one's injured. He had three black orcs and one blitzer. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a strange, a strange team build. Um. <laughs> no, there's no treat. It was just Jaraxxus. Um, Fant Fox Jaraxxus was in was in World of Warcraft. I am, however, on my way to Route Two. Ho oh, ho! Right now, like, where am I getting? Where do I find Smeagol? The three southernmost fields of grass. It looks like the one that I'm right here. Excellent. Do you know what pisses me off, right? I'll tell you what pisses me off. In in fucking Pokemon Sun and Moon, right? Fake out says it goes first and flinches the target, right? And I thought the flinch worked automatically. Um, I always thought the flinch worked automatically. And I don't know if it's just just in Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon, that it doesn't work automatically. Going to make the risky GFI here. What an asshole! There, eh? unbelievable. Yeah, of course. I mean, I deserved it. I didn't need to make that GFI. It was just pure greed. Pure greed. So that I could get this guy forward and stuff afterwards. But, um, right. And I guess I should have moved these guys first. Safe moves first. Keep Fash happy. But I didn't. Paying the price. I guess I should get a Knorring threat forward now. Um, that'll do. Gotta do this, I haven't had to open up the surf. Yep, double skull, standard. Three ones. Dog's still in range though, isn't it? Well, even even the whites in range if he makes some GFIs. Drowsy was alerted to Razor Leaf. Don't even know what that fucking means. Oh, shit, Drowsy called for help, little cunt. I don't think I played that bad apart from making the GFI that I didn't need to make. To just to get more of a cage through, because then obviously if I'd powered him, or even pushed him, he comes in, surfs, and then get you know, I've got three players up to protect the ball. So it was a little bit um a little bit greedy, but not that greedy, I thought.
revenge dodge. Stan Firm's doing some work this game, isn't it? TBH. Oh my god, fuck off, drowsy piece of shit. Do like the XP share in this new game. Right, what do I do here? 2D him. Um, I can't surf him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI. Yeah, alright then. Fuck it. Split him. Should have gone from the other direction, shouldn't I? Not that it mattered too much, I guess. GFI. Should have done that first. Should have done a safe move first. Silly Billy. This is pretty safe because it's better if he double scores than the other guy, isn't it? And now he gets to fail. Yep. But well, that's okay because he gets to um, fucking cover. Not bad, really. <laughs> valuable flash points, yeah. And valuable bison dollars as well. Oh. I'm just going to chuck fucking pokeballs at... Um, Was. Ah, Inarian, thank you very much for the follow. Do you remember when we played in the beta of um, of of Blood Bowl One, when um, when you had a human team and beat me? That was crazy. All I'm getting is fucking abras when I don't have my um when I don't have my fucking dickhead. I I had I had, you know, what's it called? That that thing. That's a thing. Um What's it called? Fake out. I had fake out on my ratata and then I was like, I'll use fake out and flinch him. And then he usually win. It was, it was a good, it was a good game. It was a, he usually win. Wow, that's, that's mean. I yeah, I guess I remembered it because I I lost because that was the only game that I lost in the uh, in the in the Blood Bowl one beta, of course. But it was good. It was good. You were like you were a cool guy. We had a nice little chat, and uh, and then you know it was a natural pleasant game. So I, I remembered it. But yeah, obviously I remembered it more because I lost. Obviously. It's pretty much... There, there were only humans and orcs available, Vlaenic, at the time. I think. Maybe. I've got a feeling there was only human and orcs available. No, there was chaos as well, I think. So, I'm just full of shit. Oh my god, all I'm finding is Abras. There was another one where Abras were meant to be 25%. And they're meant to be 20% here. And all I've seen is fucking Abras. And I can't even catch them with my shitty little Pokeballs. Yeah, what's he called? Um, Garion wins loads with uh, with halflings. It's not hard to win more than you lose with halflings. Depends on who the opponents are and stuff, doesn't it? 
all comes into it. Push is good, isn't it? I think. Trip wire for the two now. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, oh wild Smeagol appeared. Get banged on. Oh god, my level 15 Meowth might just kill him in one hit. Shit. Yeah, look is changing hopefully in time for tonight, um Jelly Olds, because you know obviously my fucking UK BBL look is has been ridiculous, hasn't it? So I guess I guess oh no, it's not on tonight. I guess because I thought I was playing tonight, my look started changing in anticipation of the uh, UK BBL. But yeah, UK BBL will be tomorrow then. Um Yeah, Scargash, I'll, I'll forgive you because I haven't been fantastic for a while. So, um, so yeah, I'll absolutely forgive you not being fantastic. <laughs> GG. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, my UK BBL look has been outstanding. Which is why I made no, isn't it? You know, that's the thing. If you if you get banged on with luck, yeah, of course everyone would love upgrading armor, but it's that takes a hell of a lot of work. I don't know why everyone cares about the cheerleaders. Like, sure, it would have been better if they were better, but seeing as they're not, who gives a fuck? Oh, fucking hell, Smeagol killed itself because I changed the character and didn't have a move to use it. You struggled and killed itself. Oh, for fuck's sake. What an asshole, Smeagol. Yeah, exactly, they can only do so much. So I think it's fine, the cheerleaders. Like, obviously, in an ideal world, you would have had, um, you would have had cheerleaders like Blood Bowl 1. But they're not there now, so you don't, you don't want to spend... You don't want them to spend money to fucking do it, do you? Um, yeah, fair enough, Jelly. I mean, that's the thing. That's like, if you're going to lose one game, obviously you might as well lose them all. But I don't want to lose one in UK BBL. Um, I don't want to lose one in UK BBL now, do I? Um, I guess I can draw. I guess I can draw in the UK BBL. Um... But I'd rather not draw. I'd rather win every game. I can't afford to draw now for sure, though, in, U in UK BBL. So that's nice. Yeah, Inarian's team is unbelievable. It wouldn't even matter about the coaching. Just looking at the teams, it's it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous team. Oh, one for winnings. Ah, wow. Look, is changing. I've got to pay for him, so no. No. 9 AV breaks. Zombie MVP. Two skills. Not the worst match ever. Enough money to buy a replacement ghoul. Level up. Not plus strength. Um, I guess I'll go guard. I guess I'll go guard with Necro. I'd go Mighty Blow on a undead white, but... Guard on a Necro White, I think, is the way forward. And a double guard on him as well, then that's good. So I've got two guards on the team. So that's all right. And then also, he's, he's also only six away from getting blocked. So it's nice for him to get it on five rather than seven or something. 
<sighs> yeah, 2,200 plus models is amazing. Yeah, exactly. So 3,000 woodies is better. Yeah, that was that was Sage that he farmed in um, in ranked. Yeah, yeah, your dark hills are pretty great as well, Ducky. Yeah. Yeah, oh God, I, would, I don't know if it was the dodging zombie. I hope it was the dodging zombie because he did deserve the MVP. Yeah, just it wasn't even a misclick. It was just absolute idiotic, terrible, terrible play. Not even noticing that player standing there, but not a mistake you would make in real Blood Bowl. It was just a, it was just a, um, it was just a fucking unfortunate thing with the. Um, with the interface, wasn't it? Not seeing him. I would never miss a player in tabletop blood bowl. But um yes, that was a pretty good game. And now I would say see you see you later for UK BBL, but that ain't gonna happen. Um UK BBL will be on Monday or Tuesday, hopefully Monday. And um I'm off to play Pokemon now. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.